Hello YouTube, it is me, Raina. Thank you very much for coming back. I do apologize for the bad lighting. It's um, very dark where I'm at, and this is the best I could do, and I do apologize again, once again for the lighting. So, um, I am back here for another um, review of the current Doctor Who episode um, that, that aired today on BBC One, of course, and it's called The Zygon Inversion. And what I thought of the episode, I thought it was great. I think it was way better than the um, than the first part. And I think it helped um, the first part also. So you can watch this in sequence. You can watch the first part and the second part. And it has a satisfying ending. And I really, really love it from beginning to end. Um, the acting. <laughs> Let me just say, Jenna Coleman did a fantastic job as playing Clara, the protagonist, and playing uh, Bonnie, who is the antagonist. And like she just, it's just so amazing to see her play a whole different character and actually playing a villain of a story. I don't think we ever seen a companion do that, at least in my our recent memory. Um, well, I actually know Martha in season four did that also, but she did it for the longest time here in this episode and it was great. And of course, Peter Capaldi. Um, that whole entire scene, like the last, like that whole block of time where he's just talking to Bonnie and Kate Stewart about, you know, basically about the, the, this big decision they're going to make. It was just so amazing. And um, he really, he really, um, he really came to his own as, as a doctor at that moment. Um, and I think it was the best like doctor moment or doctor speech since the reason of Akaten. Like it's really up there for me. It's really emotional, really powerful, and a great, fantastic performance. I think it was really amazing. Um, so yeah, basically the overall plot is like basically you know Bonnie, um, who's trying to be Clara, uh, but now revealed to be a Zygon, wants to basically start a whole war and just have they want. She wants to win. She wants basically all that to happen. Um, and the doctor is really against that and really against trying to have, you know, blood spilled, people dying, Zygons dying, whomever dying, just for the sake of it. It, does, it just seems really careless, really heartless. And he just laments to her and Kate Stewart, like this is, you know, either way, whether you want to, you know, have these Zygons dapped or you want to cause an all out war, like there's like a big decision here. And so um, the Osgood boxes that were mentioned in the first uh, part, basically there's two of them. So basically the two Osgoods could work it. And basically um, it has a button at the top, the top opens and you see two more buttons that say truth and consequences. You know, like each button is like this big decision, that big decision and all that other good stuff. And so that's um, basically the decision that they're coming to. And that whole entire scene was a great monologue for Peter Capaldi to have as a doctor. I feel like this whole entire season, um, they the writers have given him basically a step stool to become the doctor. Because in the first season, we're getting um, a new doctor, and he has to basically fill out the role. I think he became the doctor in Listen. Like that was that's Peter Capaldi's doctor. Listen was the jumpstart for him, but he never got in the full spotlight because it. Um, we had to, they had to um, develop Cl Clara's character a little bit more, which I do understand, I did like. Um, so in this season, we see more of Doctor Lewis of Clara, but I think they have a, more of a balance now to where we got the Doctor, he's a Doctor, nothing new. We can just keep on with the journey and not look back, basically. I think it was amazing. And it, um, this season really strengthened the Doctor and Claire's relationship for me. I mean, it was already strong uh, since she first joined the show, but especially with the 12th Doctor, since she's been with him the most and the longest amount of time, it's just great. And I love the reference that the Doctor made to the 50th anniversary, saying that, you know, uh, Clara is the one who stopped him from pushing the um, the moment in the 50th. And it just brings so much depth to that one episode. It was just so amazing. And just seeing how passionate the Doctor was about this, and he used, he's really just basically about to cry and everything, like it was really emotional. And, you know, he was being his maniac self, you know, like Capone has a really good American accent. I didn't, you know, it was kind of um, weird to have him jump out of his accent and jump back in. And, and just like he could be crazy and funny and magnetic. They just jumps like into being serious. Like 
if you can do that as an actor, that's amazing. That's what you need to be a doctor. So, um, yeah, I think this um, episode was great. I think it was a, a really great two-parter. Even though that the first part was build up, but I think it had a great um, twist at the end. And the solution to this two-parter was really great. Um, so the next episode is Sleep No More. Um, now, I'm not sure if that's going to be a two-parter or not, but that's the next episode, Doctor Who. What did y'all think of the Zygon inversion? Uh, did you were you impressed by the ending? Did it leave you satisfied? What do you think with the whole uh, Zygon two part of this year? Um, well, thank you very much, YouTube. I will see you next week for Sleep No More. Thank you. Goodbye.